Hey guys, I'm LB, and wow, the map just starts like this, but it seems like we're finally gonna finish off the Reconstruction series with Reconstruction Part 3, the last one in the series as far as I'm able to tell. Medium difficulty, the facility is slowly being repaired, but there is no time to wait, testing never stops, thanks to Mebius, Vampire Sausage, LP Freaking 90, and Foyon for playtesting. Right. Well, let's get started. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. What the heck is going on here? And why is it going on? Okay then. GLaDOS is active, right? We're not gonna be breaking glass anytime soon. What's that about? Who knows? Who knows what any of this is about, actually? Okay then! Sure. I guess that works. Well, that fizzler can turn off, so... Can't I just nudge this piece of test chamber in the way? <laughs> so this turns this fizzler off and that one on. What's going- What's going on in here? There's all sorts of animations. Look, as cool as animations are, I'm not gonna see all of them. A funnel and everything? That's also controlled by this? Oh my gosh, there's like so much stuff going on. Okay then. What's this for? I've got a cube in a hole, for no reason. Can I do it here? Yeah, that works. But now what? Ha 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 ha! Oh my gosh, that scared me. Okay, but why? How about we put a portal there, and a portal there, and then very carefully... Alright. What, what? How did you burn and then... What? Okay, that's not what I expected to have happen at all, but it works, I guess. That doesn't look like it ever turns off in any meaningful capacity. Oh, did I do this wrong? Oops. <laughs> I guess I was actually supposed to do it like... like that, which I guess makes more sense. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> Oops. Right, so. Let's, uh... This laser's uncomfortably close to this fizzler. Like, if you didn't want me to do it the way I did it, why did you put the laser so uncomfortably close to the fizzler? Oh my gosh, stop. So we do that. That. And that. And that just brings the cube right up to us, huh? Sure. But now what? Now what do we want to do? Don't need anything in that room anymore, as far as I'm concerned. 
Man, we could use that to push ourselves over there. I guess we would want to respawn this first, though, right? Oh, come on, don't you do that to me. Through my portals. Wait, that also lets us re Okay, so we'll wanna take the cube with us, but we'll wanna use- we'll wanna leave this behind, cause we can respawn it. Hope that's intended. Oh no, cube, come back! Don't stop, come back! There we go, I'm really Wonka. Yep, that works. That certainly works. What? Oh. Right, so, put that there, and we're basically done now, right? What's next? What's the next set, Chamber? Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Alright, what's the next set, Chamber, then? Oh goodness. That totally looks portalable to me! Nope. Okay, I guess not. Um... Where have I fallen down now? Can't get back there at all. Fancy dynamic light. Where are we- where are we going now? Where is this story going? This looks very Portal 1-esque. Radio, I'll avoid for now, in case it plays content ID music. Good old motion activated doors. Oh dear. What's happening? Why? Why is it in the happening? constant testing cycle? I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. Wait, what the heck are we doing? We're moving... blockages out of the way, I guess? I guess we are. Why, though? Did I do it good? Apparently I did. I'm not even sure what I did or why I did it. I guess I cleared blockages, or something. Sure, we'll go with that estimation of my actions. Can't go through here? Alright, fine, whatever. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Oh my goodness! That's a lot cooler looking when it's up close. Were we moving, or was something else moving? I definitely saw light and shadows moving. Huh. Well, let's get- let's get this cube first of all, before we go and do anything rash. There's not even anything over there. Alright. Got some mail music, so this was evidently made after mail. Oh goodness, that's startling. So now we come over here, now is when it adds... portal surfaces. <laughs> Knew it. Knew this was gonna move. You just gotta put every single animation you can find into a test chamber, don't ya? Let's go ahead in here and see what this does for us. What does this button do? Something, I guess. Oh, it did turn off this fizzler, I guess? Perhaps. Uh, 
I'm um, assuming I wanted to do that. Also, a bunch of stuff happened behind me, apparently, while I was looking away. And we cannot pull it back off the button from here. Interesting. And nor can we from here, because that's also not portalable. Interesting. Interesting. What's even happening right now? Cube acquired. I guess we wanna go over there or something? I'm assuming we wanna swap the cubes at some point, right? What is this point at? I have no idea what this does. Oh, that? I guess so. I had no idea. What is... What? How do you even do a thing there with that? I guess that's when we push ourselves up, right? So now we need to get the lazy cube back, right? Am I understanding things correctly here? I think I'm understanding things correctly. Maybe we don't even need to solve the cubes at all. Alright, so let's go back and get the laser cube now. Give me this. We're gonna go all the way over here. There's that much done for us. We could push that off the button, but I don't think we need to necessarily. Or maybe, does it auto-respawn? I sure hope it auto-responds, because I don't actually know. Oh, wait, what? I guess that works, too! <laughs> um, I wanted to know if it auto-respawned or not, though. Uh... Well... Let's test it. It does- it does auto-respawn. Okay, so that- I found an alternate unnecessary solution by complete accident, somehow. I guess that works. All right. Well, one of these times you'll be so fat that you'll jump and you'll just drop like a stone into acid, probably like a potato into a deep fat fryer. I don't think that's how physics works, Glados. I think no matter, no matter how heavy I am, I will fall with the same velocity, the same acceleration. Anyway, anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye.